10 Reasons You Should Study Math Many of the jobs and hobbies people do today didn't exist a generation ago. We have no clue what sort of skills you'll need in the future, but based on the trends we can predict that you'll probably be creating something or adding value somehow, you'll probably be competing against everybody else in the world, and you'll need to be clever, knowledgeable, and able to make connections between different areas of knowledge. Imagine you're packing for some sort of crazy surprise adventure. What do you bring with you? Effective tools, like a cell phone, a knife, or a cup. School is how you pack for a crazy surprise life, and math is one of the most powerful tools you can get your hands on. Of all the different systems of knowledge we humans have, math is the only one that has exact universal answers. That's why we use numbers for money. If I pay $5 for something that costs $4.90, I get $0.10 cents back. Nobody disputes that. It's capital T true. Imagine trying to use an emotion-derived system to run the economy, or faith-based traffic laws. That's crazy. If you can figure out how to express a problem mathematically, and you do it correctly, you can solve it exactly. That's a powerful tool. I will admit it is unlikely that, as an adult, you will sit down and do calculus, or perform a trigonometric proof, or find the roots of a quadratic equation. Part of the reason we do these things, though, is to force you to practice, internalize, and perfect the more basic stuff. Understanding the behaviors of functions, working with signs, and solving algebraic formulas. Because these basic skills are the sorts of things you should be able to use. You should be able to draw the inevitable conclusion whenever you see exponential growth, such as in a banking scam. I use the sign a lot when I'm out hiking to figure out the distances to things. And the next time you're dealing with numbers and can't quite figure it out, write the problem with variables like x and y. It really helps. Now, if you're lucky, your math course has a unit on formal logic. If not, you're getting these lessons only indirectly. The ability to disassemble, interpret, and create solid logical arguments is probably the most powerful skill you can have when it comes to persuading other people. Humans are not quite rational animals, so it's not surprising that many people find syllogisms confusing. But this sort of logic underlies all our thoughts, beliefs, and choices. Studying math can make you a more rational person, and that's really important. We live in a world that is filling up with numbers. If you haven't heard about big data, you will. Stores are tracking customer purchases and targeting advertising accordingly. The police are automatically tracking Twitter, Facebook, blogs, and everything else for clues about crimes and threats. And anyone with a small business and a web presence is probably using Google Analytics to keep track of their visitors. All this information is mathematical. If you can find patterns, you can increase sales, stop terrorists, or reach new audiences. I think the ability to work with analytics data is going to become mandatory for success in the future. As a citizen of a Western-style democracy, you have, or you will have when you reach the age of majority, a few responsibilities in exchange for the privileges you enjoy. You need to calculate and pay your taxes. Ask an adult if you think that's easy. A second duty is voting. You need to be able to choose intelligently between political options, each of which will probably be abusing statistics in order to swing your vote. Your math literacy is the only line of defense against the election of a terrible government. The third duty is serving on a jury if you're called to do so. The abuse of math in courtrooms is widespread and horrific. Lucia de Burke, an innocent Dutch woman, spent four years in prison because the judge in her case believed a set of flawed mathematical arguments. The same thing happened to Sally Clark in the UK. The fact is, our societies are based on the assumption that the populace is mathematically literate. A few years after the Polaroid Corporation went bankrupt in 2001, a group bought the factory and tried to recreate the film production process. In spite of years of hard work, they cannot reproduce film of the same quality. The original engineers had the sort of knowledge that cannot be written down, and that knowledge had been lost. Something similar has happened with NASA's rocket scientists, with rare earth mining, and other industries around the world. On top of the tons of written manuals and textbooks, there's knowledge that we hold in our minds that could never be written down. Imagine learning to swim from an instructional video. In this way, the human race acts like a library, Encyclopedia Humanita. No one has the entire collection, but we each have a substantive part. If our knowledge is what makes us human, there could be nothing more noble than joining in this great project and learning as much as possible of the foundational knowledge in our grand encyclopedia. For most people, math is challenging in a way they're not familiar with, and that makes it hard. Math is about reducing the world to numbers and symbols, while the other subjects you study are about injecting life and motivation into those symbols, such as words, 
musical notation, or the names of famous battles. But the fact that something is difficult doesn't mean we shouldn't do it, rather just the opposite. By tackling challenges in school, you are learning how to take on difficult tasks later in life. And although this isn't the main goal, math can sometimes serve as a credentialing system, like on the SAT. Someone who has dedicated time, energy, and brain power to learning math is the sort of person who is likely to do well at university or in particular jobs because they're going to dedicate time, energy, and brain power again. School does not exist to train you for a high paying job, but if you're looking for a six figure salary, you're probably going to need to study math. Lists of the highest paying careers usually include lawyers, IT professionals, engineers, doctors, pharmacists, and other medical professionals, accountants, and CEOs. Of those, only CEOs don't explicitly need to study math to an advanced level. Math is, in a deep and meaningful way, the most beautiful of all human inventions. Thanks for listening. My thoughts about why and how we learn math are changing daily. I'd love to hear what you think in the comments below.